lovelies welcome back the design that I'm showing you on the screen at the moment is what inspired this set my client brought in her picture in order for me to recreate it and this is what I came up with on her nails so if you're interested in seeing how we do this set let's go Now this design is what my client had on and it's been three weeks old. Now if it is you find this design looks familiar, it's because it is. I did upload that purple design last year. When she came back three weeks after for her infill, I did record this set and I completely lost the footage. Thank God it was in my cloud and I actually got to re-download it. So that is why it's now being uploaded. So as you see me here, I'm just going in with my double XL carbide drill bit from Tudak USA and I'm going to remove the oil design. I'm starting by removing the gel polish on her index finger and her middle finger. She did have two encapsulated nail designs. However, I only removed the middle finger because that nail is going to be one of my ombre nails. So I didn't want anything showing up underneath the gel polish. And on her index finger, I am going to go over it with my white gel polish and create the design on top of that so it would be fully covered so there was no need to remove it. Okay guys, so previously to this video, I had went ahead and I purchased this Brill Bird Manicure Kit. And this has everything that you need to do a Russian manicure. So I'm starting off with this cone shaped one and I'm going to go in. I did not push back my client's cuticles previously. So I'm going to use this bit to do so and to get the dead cuticle raised off the nail plate. After doing that, I went in with one of those flat top bits. And for me personally, I think that this method was too much work. Like I had to constantly keep changing my bits back and forth. And to do this on oil 10 nails really did pick up a lot of time. So right now the bit that I'm using is the only bit to me that I use from that entire kit on a regular basis. Because it takes away the dead cuticle off the nail, it cleans the nail plate, it removes the shine from the natural nails, it gets into the sidewalls and I also use it to blend the old acrylic into the natural nail without creating harm on the nail plate because it is so soft and gentle that it does not damage the natural nail. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing to her entire hand. I removed the dust with my manicure brush and I'm going to dehydrate with my 99% alcohol on a lint-free wipe, making sure to get all down in my sidewalls and around my cuticle area so that nail is nice and clean. And now I'm going in with my primer and I'm going to apply two coats of this and then I'm going straight into my acrylic application. Now I only show you guys my application on this one nail because the design part of this video is extremely long enough as it is and I didn't want you guys to get bored of watching me do the exact same thing over and over. So for my infills I like to use one to two beads depending on the strength or the apex area of the nail. So here I started off with my cuticle bead and I felt like if this nail needed a little more strength so I went in with a small bead right to that apex area blended it in you do want to make sure that you blend it in because you are going to have like a line and a dry patch across your nail and that is not cute at all after blending it in i'm going to work it with the body of my brush all the way to that free edge and that was it waited for it to set file shaped and buffed off camera and now it's time to jump into the design so i went ahead and i coated the index ring as i said before with two coats of my madame glam's perfect white and now I'm going in with this purple gel polish from Madame Glam and it's called Are You Indigo? And then I'm going in with this Oh My God Pink also from Madame Glam and I'm going to create my ombre nail. If you don't have an ombre brush and you want to create a fade, don't worry, it's not needed. I barely even reach for mine. I like to use the gel polish application brush that is of the lighter shade of gel polish. So in this case it was the pink and I went ahead and I gave it 
a nice blend when I was happy with it. I cleaned up my sidewalls on my cuticle area because it could get a little bit untidy and we don't want untidy nails after our service. Always make sure to keep your sidewalls and your cuticle areas nice and clean, especially if you're using your gel, you want to clean up before you allow your client to pop a hand into that light. Remember that. white nail I already went ahead and applied my first sponge on layer of my gel polishes so now I'm just going to go in with the second layer and I'm going to place the colors right where I want them making sure they're nice and blended into each other now but they don't need to be perfect because this is going to be a background to the design that I'm going to put over this but the reason why I like using the makeup sponge applicator is because I get a more precise blend and it's less messy than using the actual makeup sponge especially to do this with gel polishes it's a little more difficult so when i'm happy with the way that this nail looks i'm going to allow my client to put her hand into the light and kill this for a full 30 seconds so that we hold all those nicely blended colors in place before moving on so i did go ahead and apply my matte gel top coat to the ombre nails and now I'm going in with this detailed brush. Now this is not my favorite detail brush. At the time, I don't know why I use it. It's probably what I snatched out of my collection. I would have usually preferred to use my Crystal Nails Zero or the Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush. But for some reason, I decided to use this one. But I made the best of it. So I'm going to allow you guys to watch what I do design wise on the two ombre nails and I'll meet you back You guys still with me if you are i'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel like right now click that subscribe button down below and i did not record apparently the design on the multicolored nail but it was just as it seems it was stripes and dots that was it and on this nail we are going to create some random shapes using the black and wherever I feel to put a shape, I'm going to put a shape and then we're going to fill that in. Now this is just a rough outline as to where I'm going to be placing my colour. After I place my colour and I cure that gel, I am going to go over the black again to neaten it up and to perfect the design. Okay, so all that's left for me to do is complete this nail, is fill in the color, blend some colors into each other, add some stripes and some dots. And I'm going to allow you guys to watch me do this. Now I did leave a bonus clip. 
in the video of what goes on behind the scenes while I'm recording my clients nails or my watch me work videos and it's so hilarious most times because while I'm doing my clients nails they're in full control of a playlist like whatever they want to listen to they're in control of the music and we have such a good time we laugh about it and this particular client loves 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 to sing for me so I told her I'm going to leave her in my video one of these days and guess what today was that day So I hope you guys had a good laugh because we sure did. Um, I wanted you guys to get a feel of what goes on behind the scenes of my nail appointments. Instead of just showing you what I do, you get to hear a little clip as to what goes on. I don't own the rights to the songs. So I couldn't have put the entire length in for you guys. But if you want to hear little clips of what goes on behind the scenes in my Watch Me Work videos, tell me in the comment section below and give this video a big gigantic thumbs up. And I will see how much more I can include for you guys. So this is what the design looks like. And I went ahead and applied my top coat. Now we did both pictures for you guys. I did gloss in the video and matte in the pictures. So in your comments as well, tell me which one you prefer. Do you prefer them shiny or matte? So that's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'd love for you to keep safe. And I'll see you soon.